Hello friends, welcome back to your channel, Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand. And this is Excel VBA 2016 tutorial part 3. As I promised, this is a tutorial to make a, a beginner to advanced 30 days a tutorial and this is part 3. And today's topics are getting started with VBA, VBA environment, understanding basic concept, so how do you save an Excel into macro enabled format, VBA editor, properties window, and even handling the intro, how do we, what are the events or just a bit of information I'll give you, and also how to work with user, user form and module in nutshell. Before we continue, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, I do not want you guys to miss any of these videos. Please do subscribe this channel. You'll find a red button just like this subscribe click on it because once you subscribe uh, whenever i post a new video it will come on your home screen on your youtube so you will not be missing any of these videos you will also get some notification on it thank you and moving on to today's topic number one is saving excel in macro enabled format pretty simple all you have to do open a, a new excel just click on file save as choose a location where you want it to be saved uh, if you want to save it in a desktop you can or if you want to save it in a particular folder you can let us say i'm saving it here so all you have to do from give, give it a name i have named it as excel vba 2016 complete tutorial for beginners you can name anything apc save as type this is an important one you need to choose the second one excel macro enabled workbook failing to do this will not run any of your macros and excel vbas so it's very much uh, important for you to ensure your excel file is saved in this format excel macro enabled workbook to run all your macros and moving on to vba editor this is a page where all your programming your coding will be implemented as i told you in my video part two uh, how do we launch the editor I have it already open here. Let me close and start from the beginning. So you'll simply go to the Excel, or click on developer tab. If you don't know how to get this developer tab, watch my video two, the part two. Under developer, you'll find a button called visual basic in this ribbon bar. Click on visual basic. This opens your VBA editor. Also, we have a shortcut key that is alt plus F11, this is the shortcut key for you to launch the same VB editor. Either way, it will work the same. Here, on your left hand side top corner, you'll find the name of the file and the objects listed here. Uh, in this Excel file, if you see, I only have one sheet, that is sheet 1, which is named here. If I have sheet 2, and you would see the sheet 2 here automatically created. Similarly, if I have sheet 3, and so on, goes on from here. Now, if you want to program this sheet one, just double click on it or just right click and click on view code. You will get this page. This is called as VBA editor window, editor page. Because this is where you write all your programs. Now, that's about your VBA editor and moving down to properties window. I did give you a bit of introduction in the video part two, but I want to give you a complete idea of what and all the property window carries. Now, this property window varies from each object you have. Say, for example, if now I'm on sheet one, this is these are the properties for sheet one. If I'm on sheet two, these are the properties of sheet two. The information are like this. This this says the name of the sheet and is there a page breakup? Is there a, a right to left or left to right? So true and false uh, denote whether they are enabled or disabled. True stands for enabled and false stands for disabled. Similarly, when I click on this workbook, you'll find this huge uh, properties which are, which are for this particular workbook only. You can also program multiple workbooks at the same time. Uh, which will be separated with the file name like this you can work with them you can also link with them together and work with all uh, we will see the 
more information about project uh, properties as you progress in the tutorial and coming on to uh, event handling introduction to event handling a very interesting topic uh, events handling because this is going to decide everything about when to run your macro when to run your vba or snippet now what is an event for us starting from opening an excel file is also an event closing also an event saving is an event double click single click dragging right click all these are can be called as an event now simple example here i'm switching over to sheet 2 which means i am activating sheet 2 this is also an event where can i see them when you move back to vba editor in this general tab choose worksheet and here you can find these are the list of events that one can program this worksheet under the worksheet which is the worksheet sheet one and what are the uh, the event handling are available here you can choose any of these and then start writing your program on your own uh, let me give you show you an example here so let us say that i would like to program before deleting the worksheet i would like to give a warning message let us say i have chosen sheet one here i have chosen worksheet here and i have chosen the event saying before delete so here is a function where i should be writing the the program between private sub it, this line shows the beginning of the function end sub shows the end of the function so what are these private public and all i'll teach you in the later sessions but for now quick example on even handling now what i want to do i want to show or give a warning message before deleting sheet one say warning message through a message box message box are you sure a question mark so what am i typing what is the warning i'm giving all i'm saying before deleting a worksheet automatically i want to show a message to the user are you sure then let me save it and i'm closing the vb editor for a few seconds now if anybody tries to delete this sheet one they should be receiving a warning message saying are you sure let's try this uh, let's say i'm deleting it okay do you see this here are you sure this is the event handling what was the event deleting a sheet was the event and this is the a small snippet i wrote small code i wrote to tell are you sure before you're deleting it that's about even handling introduction for you now moving on to the the last topic in this video user form and module in nutshell now what is a user form let me go back to visual basic editor generally user form in the sense a form which will have a button a text box a radio button and a submit button a close minimize and maximize button etc and they are very useful and they are also colorful attractive and you can do very much interactive uh, applications using excel which we will be i'll be teaching you during the example session at the end of the tutorial or you can create an application as if it is a real windows application not an excel that will be interesting now for this tutorial for this video just an introduction on what, how do we start with the user form all you have to do click on insert and click on user form and here it is a form appears this is called an user form and moment the user form comes you can see another window a small tile started here this is called toolbox through which you can command you can create all objects on this user form say i need a button i can drag and i need a text box i can drag and drop here and i need a, a toggle button i need a radio button i can drag and drop here or do i need a a text i can a label i can drag and drop there an image i can drop there and arrange in a proper format and then click on submit finally so that we can get through with this and also you can see moment i click on some object the property is getting changed i click on the user form this is the user form property 
uh, this is the text box property and the name of the text box this is an option button or radio button the properties and they keep changing um, whichever you click their properties are shown in the property window so that you can customize color you can customize uh, the way it appears font look everything through the property window and uh, what is a module so if you notice uh, the concept is module module is a small piece of code which will support your user form coding or the workbook codes and how to insert pretty simple i can click on insert and choose module and here is the one you can rename the module uh, whatever name you would like to modules are very useful when you have to uh, write your own program in between and then you want to link that program to an to another user form or to the workbook or any other code you have already written with the specific events which you will be learning in as a part of examples at the end of this tutorial which will be teaching you at not to worry uh, this is for the video uh, part three part three of uh, video 30 day 30 video series and the next topic we'll be discussing in the next video is macro recording i think we're giving set of instruction and macro security and much more uh, in the meantime what you have to do go back uh, start practicing it whatever the basic concept i gave you uh, go through them make sure that you get the concept clear then we can get on with the more and more uh, knowledge and now for me all you have to do click on the subscribe button subscribe to this channel or uh, please like the videos comment on it if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section you can also uh, please share these videos to your friends who wants to learn excel from the scratch i'll be happy to help thank you again have a good day all is well